Here we got a locked up wine case. Up here, we've got quite a lot of racket, what it sounds like. Occurring, but that's just the, we've got quite a bit of racket occurring, but that's just the solenoid valve. And we've got, that's very cold, it had ice on it a minute ago. shut that up so it turns out the fans ain't working we've got a well, it looks like one hell of a froze up evaporator I had them empty it out for me so go check it out and here's where we are this is the thing that's it so it's a non-working fan I've already tested for 110 up top but I just want to make sure I'm getting power down here And I am. Disconnect the power for the controller, it's right there. That's power for the controller. Off. And it is. And then also, I got my fan. Fan wires right there. Those two, one going to neutral, one going to hot. So I'm pretty sure I got one of these. Nine watt. Nine watt clockwise. You always want to take the blade off so you don't bend it. You hit it up against something hard enough, and it'll bend. And like this one, it's perfect. It's not messed up or anything. It has a perfectly balanced blade. We want it to stay that way. Otherwise, it will vibrate like hell when you're done. And nobody likes that. I got one of each for whichever one it is. All right, so it looks like my blade needs to turn clockwise and it mounts that way. So this is opposite shaft in, or like this thing says, OSE, clockwise, OSE. That's the one. Just like that. Plug's a little too small. Make sure you got good clearance, even clearance all around it. Gotta want it, want it to be the same. And if you're gonna use wire nuts, well, they don't really make the best connection for some of these wires. So I like to take my wires first, twist them up nice and even, and then I'll take the clines to them and I'll tighten them down really hard first. So I like mine looking a little something like, like that one. Like After I twist them, I'll cut them, and I'll make sure that when I'm twisting them on there that they actually get a good bite and that I don't over tighten it to where it starts getting loose again. And that works for me. So, pretty much, just like that. And I'm gonna reapply power. And let it melt. This ice is pretty damn thick, isn't that something? Hmm. 
how you cheat the defrost. Cool. 